Welcome to The Better Life with Dr. Mary Ann Pinkston. Join Dr. Pinkston today as she teaches you how an integrative approach to health, combining holistic and contemporary medical information, can lead you to the better life. And now, here's your host, Dr. Mary Ann Pinkston. Hello, good morning, and welcome to a new week of The Better Life TV with Dr. Pinkston. I am Dr. Mary Ann Pinkston here in San Antonio, and I spent a little bit of time, I'm going to refer back to last week's show, and spent a little bit of time on natural hormone replacement, and I want to talk to you about something that is very, very common in my clinic that I hear all the time, and I think is very, very important to address for patients. What I try to do is bring a style of medicine uh, back to uh, you know back to contemporary medicine that brings in more holistic approach. I feel like if the body is fed what it needs, if we have our hormones straight, if we have our vitamins and supplements straight, if we have our you know stress under control, we're sleeping well, eating well, I feel like all of those things will bring our body back to a more healthy state where we can fight disease and you know fight off the uh, COVID and things that are attacking us in this world, environmental problems and, and all of that. So last week I spent some time on hormone replacement. This week I want to spend some time on that, but a little bit about our energy. So I, you know, nine times out of 10, when I'm sitting in front of a patient in the clinic, we can talk about a back problem or talk about their, you know, um, hurt knee or some sort of small problem going on. But the, the talk and the discussion always turns and goes to, Doc, I don't feel well. My energy is bad. I can't think. My, you know, my brain is foggy thinking. I walk into a room and I can't remember what I went in there for, or I can't remember, you know, a word that I'm trying to, or name I'm trying to, you know, uh, bring out of this brain. I just can't get my brain to work. You know, energy is a really huge factor, I think, in most people's lives. So I want to spend some time on that today because, If you are unable to get your energy up and going, you are unable to get up and exercise, you're unable to, you know, plan your meals and eat correctly. And there's so many places where that interferes with your ability to feel good and and, uh, have your better life. So, uh, you know, when patients are telling me that they feel bad, I automatically want to do a set of labs. So if you come to my clinic, that is one of the places that I'm going to, uh, you know, send you is back to the laboratory to do a full set. Now, most doctors will check a cholesterol. They'll check a sugar, kidney function, liver function, blood cell count, you know, maybe a small thyroid panel. There are so many different types of labs that I can draw for you and look a lot further and take the microscope down and really look at your health. And the things that I'm looking for are inflammation. Uh, Meta-inflammation is a, you know, kind of a new term that has come along maybe in the last decade or so regarding how our blood sugars are handled in our body down to a molecular level of your sodium and your potassium, how your liver functions are. And, you know, there's so many different uh, labs that I can do looking for meta-inflammation. If your body is metabolically inflamed, then it's not burning and churning, doing what it's supposed to do at that level, then your energy is going to be down. Energy comes from every single cell in your body produces energy. And every single cell produces energy from something called your mitochondria. And mitochondria are just these little pockets inside the cell, like a little organ inside the cell that will create that energy. And if it is not fed correctly, you know, with diet, exercise and nutrition and and the vitamins and hormones and things, then it is you are going to wake up every morning feeling like you've been clubbed over the head. And so what we try to do is that, you know, when I do my labs is I'm able to look and see to a microscopic level what your nutrition is doing, what your cells are producing and what they're doing. And that will allow me then to make some changes to your health and to your, um, you know, your bodily functions and, and help, you know, feed you and, and help you learn where we need to shift, where we need to make some changes. You know, a doctor can sit in front of you and say, well, eat right. 
exercise. And, you know, you've got 10 minutes to spend with a patient and that's all I can, you know, say is eat right and exercise. But doc, really, do you want me to just go on Google? You want me to do a big Google search? Or, you know, is there some information that you can give me? So when you come, we'll do those laps. We'll get deeper into uh, the cellular network of your body. Look at inflammation. So thyroid is another place too. A lot of doctors think that by testing one or two labs, TSH, free T4, those are the ones that docs usually do, that that is enough to see what is happening to your thyroid. Many people think that thyroid is the problem. So when people come say, I'm gaining weight, my energy's down, I want my thyroid checked. Well, there's so many more you know, problems in your body that you can focus on. So many more places that we need to look at. It's much more complicated than that. So what I explain to patients is your body is like a horse driven carriage. You are, you know, you're the carriage, your energy is your carriage. And the horses that go out front are, you know, I'll say four for now. One is your inflammatory status and your metabolic inflammation. And that includes a lot about your vitamins and nutrition. Uh, One horse is cortisol. So cortisol is your stress hormone that is produced when your body is under immense stress. And uh, you you tend to do this for months and years at a time. So you may not be stressed right now, but have you gone through a huge stressor in the last year or two? That builds up and shows over time. Another horse would be your thyroid. So thyroid is very important, we don't doubt it, and it affects people from a, from a large uh, uh, large population. It's very, very common, but it's certainly not the only thing that's out there. And the last horse then is your hormonal status, mostly related to testosterone. So imagine that we concentrate only on your thyroid, and your thyroid you know, is one horse. Can that one horse pull that entire carriage? No, it can't. You've got to have all your horses out there. So we concentrate on each one of those, and more actually, but keep it you know, simple, I'll leave it at four. And we concentrate on those factors. And if I can improve upon all four of them generally, I can get your body up and going. So for instance, I use myself as an example that I had uh, lost 300, excuse me, I was 300 pounds and I lost 162 pounds. So how did I do that? Well, you know, I didn't feel well when I got started doing that. I felt exhausted. I couldn't get out of bed. You know, I would sit and I had rheumatoid arthritis, I still do, but I, I had rheumatoid arthritis at the time and to, you know, get up and get out of bed and drag myself out was such a complicated, I'd hit the snooze a thousand times and then I would sit in the shower till it ran cold, just saying, I gotta go, I gotta go. You know, it's a miserable feeling to, to not be able to get up and go. So, you know, in feeling like that, I had to overcome that. So I spent uh, probably six months to a year before I even dropped a pound and that I was, you know, able to, uh, you know, do some labs and look at things. And I thought, you know, there's so many things I need to fix before my body is able to get up and get going. And so I looked at thyroid and cortisol and testosterone and all those factors and started, you know, studying it more and changing things. So I was able to, you know, get myself more energetic where now I get up and I get out of, out of bed and I go work out at 530 in the morning, which is insanity, right? So I get up and work out 5.30 in the morning and then get re- come back, get ready, go to work, work a full day. So I'm there from nine to five like everybody, sometimes longer. And then I have meetings after work. I have phone calls I need to make. I've got charting and billing that I need to do. I've got to go home and cook dinner for my family and you know maintain a household and do all those things. So how does a person do that? And that is where I bring you in, get your laboratory done, and look at each individual piece and try to pull it together. So the nutritional factors that I try to uh, you know focus on are vitamin D, B12, folate, some of your basic vitamins. Vitamin D is something I'm going to spend some time on uh, in a show one of these days because it's a whole show by itself. But it is something very important to your your immune system, fighting COVID, preventing COVID and weight loss and energy, keeping your bones strong, uh, preventing autoimmune disease. 
uh, the B vitamins. Many people want to take a B12 shot and, you know, jazz their energy. B12 is not the only B. There are lots of B vitamins, so we need to look at all of them and focus on all of them. They each have a job and have a role in making us feel better. And then, you know, there's plenty of other vitamins, but then I'll shift over to thyroid. Thyroid is something that there are actually seven things that I check in your thyroid panel, not just two. And I do use a prescription version of thyroid replacement if it's needed, but that prescription version is still a natural version, and it is not a... Uh, you know, it's not a pharmaceutical, so to speak, but it's something that it just replaces what your body needs. Many people, you know, have a thyroid that is functioning, but it's not being activated or converted into the active ingredient that makes your thyroid work better. So on top of that, then I check your hormones, your estrogen, your testosterone for women. I check their progesterone. And that full focus of a hormone panel that lets me know what your heart attack and stroke risk is and, you know, many factors, what your bone strength might be like and, and things like that. But this is also a part of getting your energy up and going. If I had one thing that I think makes the most difference, and testosterone is really high ranking on that, the biggest difference, I think, will be cortisol. So I'll spend just a few moments with cortisol. So your adrenal gland sits on top of your kidney and is a, an organ that will you know, put out all of your adrenaline and cortisol, stress hormone. So cortisol is produced in, in relation to stress, but it has a curve. It's high in the morning to get you up and out of bed. It falls as the morning goes. You get a, a little bit of a bump about two o'clock in the afternoon. It's when everybody gets a little bit sleepy after lunch. And then it falls deep into the night so that you can initiate a good sleep. That curve will change as you get under stress. And as your stress increases, then you'll be low in the morning instead of high and high at night instead of low. So you'll get this wired but tired sensation where you can't go to sleep and your mind races. And that cortisol is very inflammatory to your body. It also packs on the belly fat. So if you're struggling to lose weight and you can't lose that belly fat, cortisol is definitely one of your reasons underneath that. But also it, it tends to make you that wired and tired and not sleep well. If you don't sleep well, you don't fix your cortisol. So things you can see just get worse and worse and worse over time. Cortisol interrupts your thyroid function. It interrupts your nutritional factors. It makes you more inflamed. It interrupts testosterone function. So I think cortisol is the big horse and the one that's out in front. And so if your doc, if you're not checking all of those factors, and if your doc isn't working on all those things with you, then you might need to you know, come in and see your energy specialist, which is something I feel like I am, and work on those factors. And we check all of those labs and more and definitely can work on getting your energy up. And I, you know, from a, a prescription standpoint, I use very few prescriptions to do it. It really is about hormone replacement and working on your stress and your nutrition and all of those factors. So um, what I wanna spend some time on, we're going to go into our second half in just a few minutes. And what I wanna spend some time on when we do that is a little bit about how cortisol affects your sleep uh, sleep, obviously, is one of the most important factors of regaining your energy and getting up and going. And I think people really underestimate sleep significantly. Sleep is a repair. Sleep is a time where, you know, you don't just rest and dream, but your body actually goes into repair mode. So we definitely want to work on sleep, and I think cortisol has a lot to do with that. When you are sleep-deprived, then your body cannot repair itself. Those energy factors cannot produce on a daily basis. And so that is something that will affect and affect your weight. If you wanna lose weight, sleep is the way to do that as well. So we're definitely going to uh, spend a few moments on that. Before I go into that though, I wanna finish up on uh, hormone replacement from last week. So you know, one of the things that uh, I think when patients come in and wanna talk about hormone replacement, they're very concerned about the safety of it. I know I discussed this a little, uh, and I wanna push this forward again. Hormone replacement, if you are in your 20s, you are healthy, your body is healthy, you don't have cancer uh, for the most part, you don't have heart disease, you don't have all of these uh, struggles, you don't have these weight struggles. 
And hormone replacement is exactly that. I am replacing your hormones. And it is a natural replacement. It is something that your body, the, the chemical structure of it is exactly the same as what you are supposed to make. So we do it in a very mathematical way. And I give them back to you the same way that your body used to make it. So if you didn't have cancer and all those things back in your 20s, well, then why would you now giving hormone replacement? Hormone replacement is something that is built to help your body function. There's no evolutionary reason why we lose our hormones. So you would think that if we're meant to lose them and grow old, that there is a good reason you know, behind that. Evolution built something into that that you know, serves a purpose, and it does it. It is really literally just to kill us and, and allow us to, to grow old gracefully and not so gracefully in some aspects. But hormone replacement, if we give that back to you, we are re-establishing. There's no way for me to turn the clock completely back and make you completely younger, but I can give you back an energy and a muscle mass and stop that significant aging process to a point where you can live a lot better and enjoy your life a lot better. So in the next, uh, the next turn, we're gonna stop and uh, take a break for a few moments and talk about my favorite med spa, Dolce, uh, where you can get some of your anti-aging and turn the clock back. But uh, we'll come back and talk a little bit about sleep and how that repairs and helps your energy. Welcome back. I uh, just got through talking about building up your energy and replacing your hormones. And it's such a big topic. There's no way to, to whittle it down and get this all into our 24 minutes that we have together. But I just wanted to give you a good overview so that, you know, patients understand when they come to the clinic what we, you know, what I would love to do with you and what we're trying to accomplish. Because, um, you know, many people have, uh, you know, short little topics, things they want to talk about, uh, you know, an adjustment to a blood pressure medication or an ache or a pain or something, but it always veers off and goes into, Doc, how can I get my energy better? I can't get out of bed. I feel horrible. And, you know, I've got to take care of my family and the weight of the world on my uh, shoulders. And it's really, it, it's impossible to, to get everything into 24 hours. But I promise you, if we had 36 or 72 hours in a day, we would use all that up too and still whine about how much time we don't have. I know I would. So uh, one of the things I wanted to talk about, you know, in talking about restoring the body, restoring your energy, restoring is sleep. So restorative sleep is what we are all trying to get. But very few, even if you go to bed and you sleep a full you know, six to eight hours, um, you may not be getting restorative sleep. And restorative sleep is what people need. So how do you get into those deeper stages of sleep? And and uh, I will spend a, a show on this because, again, this is a huge topic. But what I want you to understand about uh, sleep today and restoring your energy is that your body repairs itself at night. When you go down and you go to sleep, your body repairs itself. And not only does it repair the cells and uh, hormone structures and whatnot, but it also works on your energy and seriously will you know replace your your active cortisol all day and try to to heal your cortisol curve and and resolve that so that you can get up and go the next day and and keep going you know full of, of life and, and longevity from there so restorative sleep and fixing your cortisol only happens if your cortisol is fixed, so which came first, the chicken or the egg? When your cortisol is is off and your stress is really bad and your cortisol is either too high or too low and it's just not right on its curve, then you can't get good sleep. If you can't get good sleep, then you can't fix your cortisol curve. So uh, one of the reasons that that happens is you become melatonin resistant. So if you take melatonin at night trying to sleep better and it's not working, that tells me that your cortisol curve is completely off and that we're going to have some, uh, some difficulties uh, getting you straightened out, especially in weight loss, but also for your energy. So I try to veer people away from sleep meds. Sleep meds allow you to stay in stage one or stage two 
of your sleep cycle. Stage three and stage four, those deeper stages, are where your body repairs itself and hormones are fixed and, and cortisol is fixed and all those you know mag all that magic happens. So if you're melatonin resistant, you're not getting into those deeper stages of sleep. No matter you know how many hours you are, are trying to get down, if you're taking sleep medication, you're going to stay in that stage one and stage two area, and you're not going to replenish your your body. So cortisol is you know one of those factors that if we can get that fixed, and there's a very natural way to do it. So if we can get that fixed, then I can get you into a better sleep cycle and you can repair yourself and, you know, get our energy back online. Um, so, you know, if you come to the clinic, well, you know, if that is something that you want to work on, I will do your laboratory. We will check all of that. I'm able to get lab for patients about a week before their actual appointment. That way, when you come, we can spend time on that and not, uh, you know, divvy up your time, you know, coming in and seeing me, getting your lab, and then coming back saves you some time and money. So consider doing something like that with the clinic. Bringing up the clinic, let me tell you a little bit about uh, two places. One is mine. So Pinkston Medical and Wellness Clinic is over on the north, uh, northwest side, kind of west side, Shane Field and 1604. I've been out there for quite some time, and I have a, a beautiful clinic now. Uh, it's in a little yellow shopping center at the very back, so we're, we're tucked away, but we'd love to have you. The number is 210-698-7825. And just call Jennifer, Alyssa, Liz. They will you know, get you down for an appointment. We can get your lab done. We can get you in. You can go to PinkstonFamilyPracticeSA.com and look things over, look at our services, read my story, um, catch a few of my older shows. Um, you can also go then to drpbetterlife.com is where I have a blog and some announcements about where we are and what we're doing in different shows. And if you want some more information, uh, please hit those up. The last place I want to tell you about then is my sponsor today, and that is Dolce Beauty and Laser. And Lisa Trinquire is there who is a wonderful um uh, wonderful woman, as she is one a good friend of mine, and I'm medical director for the spa. But she offers so many different services. And we have Bianca, who does a lot of injections. So I know injections are very popular these days, not just for beauty, but there are some functional things that you can get done. I have a, a patient who had a pierced ear that you know had a, a dimple in it and we put filler in it and fix that. So there's many things that you can do uh, with fillers and Botox. I uh, have a few people who have, you know, some tight muscles and headaches. So there are different things that we can do in regard to Botox. She also does facials and weight loss lasers and hair removal. And so many, many things that, you know, patients are looking for these days. And this week they had a flash sale of 70% off some of their lasers. So I hope that you guys will give Lisa a call. It's 210 Six eight six zero five zero five, and she is ready to get you in and get you taken care of. And uh, I will see you too uh, if you want to mix that with getting your hormones and your labs done. And we can do a lot of things to make you uh, feel younger and beautiful, and and uh, get you full of energy and going. I want to thank you guys. Next week I'll probably expand on the sleep uh, a little bit. I think sleep is a very popular topic, and so we will discuss how to do that and do it the the right way. Thank you very much. Have a great week.